are high, and no one knows that better than Gerard Mustaf. A 6 foot 10 inch, 215 pound senior, he's had to endure the burden of fans who have expected the unselfish Mustaf to carry the team single-handedly. This year, he silenced the critics without sacrificing his team-first attitude. His numbers are impressive. 21 points, 15 rebounds, 70% free throw shooting, and 57% accuracy from the floor. A two-time Parade All-American, he's sure to rack up numerous postseason honors this season as well, and is this week's selection as Fast Break's finest. And here is Gerard Mustaf, one of my favorite players of all times. <laughs> Gerard, great to have you with us. Thank you, Coach. Good to be here. Gerard, you know, you're a senior, you're having a, a dynamite year, thank goodness. But still, every player has things they need to work on. What do you think is the thing you need to work on the most? Everything. They need to keep working hard on all phases of my game. If you had to pick out maybe one area, though, that needed the most concentration, would you pick one? Um, I guess my outside shot. Because in college, I plan to play outside more than I do in high school. So um, I think I need to work on that more. And he's been doing a good job at it, too. And Coach and I were talking about a lot of the pressure on big men. Did you feel that last year and even in your sophomore year that people were expecting you to do so much and carry the team single-handedly? I think that people did expect me to do more, but I'm sure I'm a great player and have a good coach also. And that takes the pressure off me. Mm -hmm. Now this year, it seems like you're coming out playing with a vengeance. What in the world are you trying to prove? Um, last year, people said I disappointed them. So this year, I'm trying to make up for it. And I know you guys have had some good competition you've played against this year. Stanley Roberts, I think, down in South Carolina and some other good men. Were you really anxious about those battles, even though you may not have necessarily gone one-on-one -on -one with those guys? Um, not really, but I think I need to stand up to some guys and see how good I am compared to them because they're supposedly better than me or, or ranked ahead of me. So it lets me know where I stand. Mm -hmm. Gerard, you know, going back to your freshman year, you made the varsity as a freshman, which is a rare thing at the Matha. And you got to play and practice every day against a guy named Danny Ferry. What do you think that did to help you become a better player? That was a great experience. I think that Danny Ferry is one of the best all-around players in the country right now. And um, I'm going to use him as my role model um, to better my game. Pretty good role model. And right now, you being a senior, you're playing against a young guy in practice every day that has the opportunity to improve because he's playing against you. Who is that young man? Derek Chandler. You think he's coming along pretty good? He's doing a great job. Every day is getting better and better. Well, there's no question that he is profiting by playing somebody like you, Gerard. And for being selected as Fast Break's Finest, we'd like to offer you this trophy. And, of course, McDonald's has a host of athletic gear for you, including some custom-made warm-up outfits to fit the 6-foot-10-inch frame. Thank you. Thank you. I All appreciate right. you selecting Fast Break's Finest. All right. Good to have you again. Thank you. Gerard, thank you very, very much. Great player, great young man. Well, all right. And coming up